this is unconventional designs and um, I'm glad to bring you this amazing video um, today is going to be different because it's just um, we playing around with a couple of components so today I would like to show you guys how your notification pops up on your phone and how you can do that on Figma using basic animations and several components just on Figma so um, without wasting much of the time let's go into it yeah so um today this is just like the home screen and um, this is like the lock screen and this guy here is just the swipe up and swipe swipe up to unlock feature which is the delay and um, after the effect just on figma and um, this is just basically the home screen and the lock screen and um, yeah so really what will be just working through i will show you how all of those things have been created or was created and um, we we'll also work through it and you can see how you can also create that also the file will be available for you guys to also work through and have some of the components also but if you haven't seen my video as regards components please check my file check my design file and see how components have been created from scratch so i have a, like a walkthrough course on that so just like you uh, see just now just like when you click that button the animation drops and all that. i'll show you guys how all of those things were done here in figma so this is also the swipe up just like i mentioned before when you swipe you have your animation page and when you drag down your notification comes in just like this so i'll be showing you guys all of these things they are just playing around and i felt like <laughs> why not show my my subscribers and let them see what they can do with figma actually so really so just like we're playing around images so you can see all of the notifications that um you have and um, just like you have on android and iphone so you can drag drag and drag out and also just like move in move out stuff like that so without without taking much of your time so let's just uh, go into the editor now and see how we uh, currently have them and um, i would just like to walk you guys through it properly and um, like i mentioned earlier the design file will also be available for everyone to have access to the design so pretty much that is it so let's uh, go into the design properly right so this is these are some of the components that were used this is the swipe in swipe um swipe up um, swipe up to unlock well, this then this is the home screen then that 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 was a lock screen but again here's the components that i use for the notification and this is the component that was used to drop in those notifications the drop notification drop down notification uh, feature so really it's just basic a couple of components so really uh, all of these guys were created earlier but i would like to show you guys i won't show you how i created most of the screens but i'll just show you how the prototypes were done because i don't want the video to be very long it's going to be like a very short video so you guys can at least come up with just basic screens that image and a couple of uh, notification uh, layouts so they're just basic text and uh, yeah a couple of buttons and all that having said that uh, you can see how our swipe up to unlock button was created that the blinking stuff the way it was blinking and all that so they're just a couple of icons and just text nothing really big about that so the first thing i did was duplicate this guy and help this guy to be to reduce the opacity of this guy so i reduced the opacity to like 10 percent and um, yeah then the swipe up button to remain full color so that on on every after delay it dissolves and comes in and comes out just like a blinking effect kind of so that was how i was able to achieve that so let's see let's see how that works so so i'll just make that component set then click on the this guy and the prototype it's the to the 10 percent swipe up to unlock then on drag because it is swipe so on drag i give you after delay then it changes to the full color guy then i can give you a linear view and also take you back to the new guy 
and give it also a, a, a linear feel and giving it after the lead and linear feel it changes to the other guy so just like vice versa so that's really it then uh let's just see how fast that comes out but i would like to change the speed of of dissolving or, or transition from 300 milliseconds to 600 milliseconds but let's see let's see how that comes out really um yeah so um that's that's really it so then let's let's try and detach and see how that comes out so yeah so when you click on the no this thing let's see how the prototype comes out so i'm trying to set that so it's it's out of our phone case um size i'm not bad so let's let's prototype and see so now can you see that the swipe up to unlock is blinking just like we just did so just basically selecting having just two samples and making them a component so if you have still um, seen how components are created or you don't know how components are created on figma please go through my video for my channel you'll be really happy that you did so um, having said that let's look at the second screen that you created so that you can see how the swipe up to unlock transitions to the next screen yeah so because like i mentioned i'm not creating this screen again it's just me bringing them together and showing you how the prototype works so i'm dragging the swipe up guy so on drag so I'll be using on drag for that then when i drag it goes to the next screen that's the first thing so um yeah on smart animates then we're giving it let's give it a more detailed time so that it it shows that we're actually unlocking not that we are just um, moving to the next screen so when you drag now so can you see it shows that it is actually unlocking but let's give you more time let's give like 600 so that we can see what what it looks like so when you swipe to unlock now can you see it's actually unlocking it's actually unlocking kind of yeah so it's actually unlocking so i think i think that's really better kind of than the other one so um, yeah so let's just see how our other components was created which is our notification itself our twitter notification so i will detach i'll be detaching the two components from from their mother component so really it's just so that i can show you guys how the prototype worked Whereby when I click on this guy, it drops down. Not that he appears, it drops down itself. So um, yeah, so let's see this guy. So this is the button. So when I click this button, the button here displays this other drop down. So now we're going to make them component set. So uh, yeah, so when I make them component set, you see how the entire works over renaming it and saying this is the main notification and the other guy will be the sub notification so really the other guy should be our sub notification yes yeah, so i think i've said that so we can create a component set now on the two of them so we can create a component set just like i did so um i'm creating a component set create component set so immediately i'm creating a component set i'm prototyping i'm showing that this plus two button should display this guy when i click it but not on it's on top it changes to this guy can you see that on top changes this guy linear and i'm giving it 300 so that's that's how that's gonna work so on top when i tap it it changes but it is animating not that it is just automatically changing or start changing so there's also a trick to this guy most times when you want a drop down to be so slick like that you need to use auto layout so this other button here is what uh, i'll be prototyping now and it's, it's the one that's going to display back to show the main component after it has dropped down it's going to go if i click the other button on top it displays this other guy 
this this other main component so now i'm showing you how this notification model was designed so this is the notification model and this notification model is also was also designed <laughs> sorry was also designed so i won't be designing the game i'll just bring some of the components in and show you a couple of tricks that i was able to use to come up with that so um really it's just the um uh, the time and the instagram notification so now i just give that uh, auto layout so that whatever i'm putting inside will not go out and it's going to really arrange itself that's why auto layout is really important so i'm moving the components inside this auto layout set already so now i'm dragging now i just drop that so now it's already in its own position and the entire field now the reason why the entire why i'm using a long frame like that is because it is in notification and it's supposed to be a model that focuses on the entire page because you can't have just those three guys and expect them to come up no it won't it won't really fit so there's also a trick but i'm not giving it a color yet i'm just giving it it's just transparent very transparent then i'll be giving this guy so i already gave that guy a padding a padding of um 30 30 to 50 so we gave it 50 then um yeah so when, when anytime i prototype this guy now i'm prototyping to the model not the screen itself so it's going to come up as an overlay instead of as a nest screen so i'll be prototyping that so it's going to be on on drag on drag because i'm dragging the notification down then on drag it's going to move in moving from up so you're moving in from up this is the um, stuff showed just now so we're navigating we're using open overlay so that it doesn't navigate to the next screen and then the next screen will not be empty is navigating to uh, is navigating as a model instead of a nest screen so that's it so um also we're giving the background um overlay to be at least 90 percent now we're giving it a particular color which is the 4c 4c color so yeah so 4c 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 i guess so the 4c 4c color is what i'll be using for um this guy then yeah so i'm using a 90 percent like i mentioned so um yeah i think that's it that's it so let's let's try and see the prototype and see how it works so currently when i drag down So now I've dragged, I just dragged down, but I feel like it's too fast. So I feel like I'm giving it more time so that it shows like it's coming actually. It's coming from up, not that it's just appearing. So I'm giving the 600, let's see how that works. So when I unlock, I drag down. So when I drag down, see it's coming, it's already looking like something that so, but let's try 800 again but the last one i used was 1k but let's try 800 this time so i think 800 should be better so let me unlock the screen and bring this guy inside now can you see how it looks i'm it's actually i'm enjoying that but this one i used the 1k i can remember yeah i used the 1k for the test so i think i like 800 now really because the way is not really delaying it's just um apt yeah i think i like that yeah that's that's not bad so let's see how this notification on cur currently we can drag back but let's see the drag bar because currently we can't drag back if you see that i can't drag it it's just coming in i can't drag it back so now but the only thing i can do is i can drop down this guy can you see the drop down we did works so just changing and using a smart animate so now yeah so it's just using the smart animate really so now the yeah so it still it works really so let's try the notification back to the main screen so it's all it's also going to be on drag but we're going to try two two routes for that we're going to use tap and drag because when you use your normal notification you can also drag 
and you can also tap so that the notification goes off instead of always dragging every time so now we're navigating to the second page you know before we used open overlay but since you are going back to that page you are navigating to that page so what you're going to do now is let's first use drag the so drag works navigate but we are moving out of that page sorry so i'm moving out of that page but we're not using smart animate um layers matching layers no we're just see that so when i drag but it goes off like like i'm actually dragging it away can you see can you see how 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 sleek it looks like i'm really enjoying it actually i just wanted to show you guys really how that was i was just playing around and i felt like i should show you a video of that so now um then now we can also use tab feature so when we drag this guy in we can also tap out of the feature can, can you see that when i drag i can tap it and i can also drag it so like two actions on one particular screen and yeah can you see that i have tap and drag feature on that one page so really that's just how um the entire prototype works and um um i just wanted to show you guys how you can also do that on figma and apply it to some of your other notifications for your mobile applications and all of that so really it's just it's just really really fancy and i feel like i was just playing around my components and i felt like i enjoyed doing it so i just want to show you guys so thank you for sticking to this time and thank you for coming to my channel to watch my videos i'm really grateful for my 125 subscribers currently so i just feel like man i'm so grateful for you guys and uh, please don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos on all of your channels um your channels your social medias and all of that i'm really grateful and i appreciate your efforts and um, um everything you guys are doing like people that drop comments people that ask questions i'm really really happy so uh, if you have any question this um design file will be uploaded also on my youtube channel when this video drops so anytime you guys can also have access to it so thank you thank you for sticking to this time uh yeah thank you thank you for your time bye